So when we expect Carl Anthony Towns back, what do you think for me? I mean, first, first. can we just say brutal Awful. for Minnesota? I know. I, when, I, I, I had not heard it until Chris told me in the middle of the show mm -hmm. yesterday because I've just been so in the tank with so many other things going on. I just gutted me, man, to hear that. But is it possible first round of the playoffs? He possible. Can come back? The, uh, the way the Wolves are framing it is that they'll evaluate him in about four weeks, which puts you at right around the end of the regular season, maybe right. a week or so to go. So it's certainly possible he can be back for the first round of the playoffs, but it's a meniscus tear. It's a knee. Nobody really knows how his body's going to respond to it. Nobody really knows how long the ramp up is going to be to get him back out there. And look, all of th that injury certainly shakes up the entire Western Conference landscape because now if you're one of the play-in teams, and there are some big names in that play-in mix, Golden State's there, the Lakers are there, uh, you know, the, you've got Phoenix is there. Now you're looking at Minnesota thinking, all right, Towns is either going to be out or mm. working his way back mm -hmm. in that first round. You want that eight seed. If they're number one, and then look, a lot can happen next month. They might drop to three or four. I mean, it's, it's that sure. close at the top. Right. But I, I think you're going to start seeing, or you will see towards the end of this month, early next month, Team's starting to look at Minnesota saying, all right, how do we get that matchup in the first round if we know Towns is going to be out? Chris Mannix here on the Rich Eisen Show. What about the other injured stars and how to expect uh, their returns over the next three, four weeks for the playoffs? Who else you got for uh, me? Who are, we, who are we talking about we here? We got Julius Randle for the oh, Knicks? Oh, Randle will be back. Yeah, I mean, look, the Knicks, you know, it, everybody, you know, cheered the Knicks when they made all these deals, right? Mm, they yes. get OG Ananobi, which is a great deal. They get Bodanovich, good deal. They get Alec Burks, good deal. None of that really matters, though, in the playoffs. Depth is the most overrated thing, I believe, in the postseason. In the postseason, it really comes down to your stars outplaying their stars. So, for my money, Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle mm -hmm. have to outplay Damian Lillard and Giannis. Have to outplay Donovan Mitchell and Evan Mobley have to outplay Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. That's been a problem for the Knicks in recent years. <clears throat> Julius yes. Randle, the numbers are there. He has been bad yes. in the postseason. Jalen Brunson's scoring numbers were good last year, but look at his three-point shooting. It went from low 40s to low 30s. That's got to change. So while I applaud Leon Rose for, for doing what they did to stretch out the depth, and I think OG, as a defender, is going to make a big impact, this is going to come down to Brunson and Randle proving they're a better one-two than the other one-twos out there. And meanwhile, they might have to play uh, an opening round series on the road in Orlando. We had Jamal Mosley on oh. yesterday. I really enjoyed our conversation mm. when he was on yesterday. I mean, how how real could this run? I, you know what I'm saying? I understand we just established the Celtics are the Celtics, and you got the Bucks with and in the Cavs field, destined with the, you know, Struce throwing one in from 60 feet and then coming back on the Celtics like they did. And we're not even, you know, mentioning the Sixers out there until I just said those yeah. words. Well, what about what about some of these teams like the Magic that nobody were talking well, about? Well, the, the success for the Magic is winning a first round series, right? It, it's unrealistic to expect a team this young to go into a second round matchup with Boston or Milwaukee and win. They're just not there yet. Um, but I think they have enough to win a first round series. Defensively, they're great. They've been great all season long. Mm -hmm. Offensively, they have really turned a corner over the last ten games or so. Uh, their efficiency numbers have gone way up. Franz Wagner, very good player, really mm -hmm. good player. Paolo Banchero, really good player. Like, they have got some horses there. And while they're an efficient three-point shooting team, they're not a high-volume three-point shooting team. So they're looking for the best shots wherever they're coming from, and they're able to cobble together enough offense to get it done that way. So if you couple that with great defense and good enough offense – it might be enough to beat a Cleveland team in the first round. It might be enough to beat uh, the Knicks in the first round. So I think they're in play to win a first round series. Okay, but after that, it'll be we're, we're back in a pumpkin. To, to me, saying? to me, it's it's you're, you're barreling towards a Milwaukee Boston uh, conference finals. And then in the West, what do you got? <sighs> I no, look, Denver in, will be there yeah, no right. matter what. You Nuggets and put them in a sharpie in the conference finals. It's tough to not sit here and think the Clippers. Uh, straight up, straight up, you know, and because not only in the in the same way that you had mentioned, you know, hey, credit to Kawhi, credit to Harden, credit to Russell Westbrook. I mean, Ty Lue is one of the best out there. He man. is. He deserves. And, he won't get a good look. Coach of the year is the easiest vote ever. It's Mark Dagnall in Oklahoma City. Like yeah. that might be unanimous. It should be unanimous. Right. I mean, they're the number or close to the number one seed right now. 
Um, I, look, the Clippers, Paul George will show up, I think, in the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard will show up in the playoffs. What do we get out of James Harden in the playoffs? That's a big question with them. Harden has been fantastic for that group. When I talk to people inside the Clippers, they bring up how long mm -hmm. they've been looking for a distributor. All the point guards they've gone through, Rajon Rondo, John Wall, Russell Westbrook, they have not been able to find anyone to aptly man that position. James Harden has done that. You look at how they've been able to close games. Uh, I think there's something like 32 and two or something like that mm -hmm. when leading after the third quarter. A lot of that's a credit to James Harden, who was able to, you know, run the offense effectively late in game. So if Harden continues this trend, yes. if he can be this guy in the postseason, they've got a chance to get to the conference finals. I I'm not sure anybody's beaten Denver, but if this is the Clipper team that gets into the postseason, the conference finals is definitely there. All right. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.